Oh, hello. What is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello. I am Katie Mai and I make videos sharing my art journey on this channel. We like to have fun. We like to hang out. We like to make stuff, which is exactly what we're doing today. If you like to have fun and hang out and make stuff, hit the subscribe button down below. So I am here in front of the camera right now because we do have some admin and announcement stuff to talk about before we get into today's video, which is making custom stamps. The first update is that I'm a liar and a thief and don't listen to me in my last video. I am not having a shop update March 1st. The actual date is to be determined because apparently I think I could do a lot more stuff in a short amount of time. So Yep, it has been pretty hard to do shop update stuff while I have an office job. So I am going to delay that and I still have to wait on some stuff to be manufactured. So until then, everything that is currently in my shop is 20% off, no code needed. They are all already discounted on my site. So go check that out by Katie Mai. Um, I still have a lot of five by seven prints. So if you like any of these guys, they are there until they sell out so definitely check them out because they probably won't be returning for the next shop update and i do have a couple landscape stickers and like cute guys like this so yeah check out the shop sale next shop update to be announced follow me on instagram you'll probably hear it from there first and i'll be documenting everything of course in upcoming studio vlogs so i'm just gonna lump all those together definitely leave me a comment below on what you would like to see in future youtube videos there are a lot of you now and i want to make stuff that you guys want to see i am a flexible guys like we can make studio vlogs i could do like more how to's like behind the scenes like with the shop update and making youtube videos like shipping stuff stuff like that i can make those or i could do some more book videos which i've kind of been experimenting with but today we are doing something fun i really wanted to make something with my hands and i didn't have any clay because i really wanted to make like little clay things but I did have in the back of my closet all my old printmaking stuff from my printmaking class in college they gave us like a bunch of supplies and it was just getting dusty in my closet so I decided to take them out and make some custom stamps for my packaging so this these are the ones I filmed on camera they're so cute so if you're curious on how I made these and you want to make some yourself, just keep watching and then we'll be packing some orders with these new stamps. And that is it. Thank you for listening to me talk and let's get into stamp making and shout out to Skillshare for sponsoring this video, which you will hear about a little bit later. we are in voiceover mode so these are all the materials that i use and i'll try my best to link them in the description so first you'll need a linoleum cutter this one is from speedball it comes with a bunch of different interchangeable heads which is very nice i also used these ones that were provided to me from my printmaking class so i do not know where they are from but these were also really nice and i believe they're better for wood cutting and then you will need some type of rubber slash linoleum and you'll need some tracing paper and pencils of course to copy your designs onto the linoleum then you'll need a wooden block i did not have a saw to cut pieces of wood so i also used this cork from ikea that worked pretty well i just cut it up and that's what we will be attaching to the top like those stamps i'm showing here and then you'll need inks, these ink pads you could find at your local craft store as well as most of these materials. Lastly, you will need a cutting mat to protect your workspace and an X-Acto knife. I just used one of the blades from that speedball cutter. Uh, before we start, I wanted to show you this stamp I made off camera to make sure this project wouldn't be a total fail. So this is what the finished stamp will look like. Ooh. Beautiful. So first I started by sketching all my ideas on a paper first. I knew I wanted to create something for my packaging so all of them are kind of male themed and this will also help you visualize the final size of the stamp and the more planning you do here the better. Ah. 
After I found an idea I liked, I cut the linoleum to my desired size and I left a little bit of room just in case. Taking the translucent tracing paper, you'll want to trace your design onto it. This step is really important because anything you put on the linoleum will be backwards when it's printed. So in short, you'll be carving the flipped image onto the linoleum and the tracing paper makes it super easy to flip your design from paper to the linoleum. So I trace my little frog and then once I am done tracing it, I turn the tracing paper over so the design is mirrored. Then I taped the paper onto the linoleum and retraced my design so the flip image transfers onto there. And if your design contains words, they will have to be flipped to remember that. And also remember that only the parts with graphite on the tracing paper will transfer to the pink block. Now this is where you'll have to do a little bit of thinking and it's definitely better to plant as much as possible now before you start to carve your stamp. Vinyl cuts are a subtractive cutting method and use negative and positive space. So all parts carved will show the white of the page and the rest of the parts left will be inked. With my pencil, I'm marking all the spaces I want to leave carved. And then from there, I will be carving out all those pink spaces. Cool. Now we can start carving. I love carving. It's so satisfying. Like, ooh, look at that. That is stunning. Wow. So satisfying. So depending on your design, you will most likely use a bunch of different size cutting tools. For this one, I used a lot of small detailed ones because the stamp was so small. I would definitely recommend practicing beforehand on a scrap piece of linoleum before going into your final stamp because once a piece is carved, it is gone. So that's kind of like the scary part of this process, but I promise it's not too bad if you just take your time and be careful. And I'm not an expert on this. I literally just took a class on it, but some tips I have for you are to carve away from yourself. Repeat after me. Carve away from yourself. Do not carve towards yourself. Don't. Promise. Okay, good. It can be very dangerous very fast. And then also be careful with your fingers. These carving tools are very sharp and an accident can easily happen if you're not paying attention. Like I said, I'm not an expert on lino cut printmaking. If you want a more in-depth tutorial on the process of it, there are tons of resources and I would recommend looking on Skillshare as well. Skillshare is an online learning community for creative and curious people where you can learn new things from artists just like you and me. And there are tons of courses on illustration and design and so, so many courses on printmaking. My search for lino cut printmaking turned up so many results. So there is a whole catalog of beginner to advanced Skillshare courses that you can choose from. And the nice thing is that they are broken up into bite-sized pieces so you can learn at your own pace. So if you would like to check it out for yourself and learn something new, Skillshare is offering a free month trial for the first thousand of my subscribers to hit the link in the description. So thank you again for sponsoring this video, Skillshare. I'm going to turn up the music now so you can relax to these sweet, sweet carving videos.
before I carve anymore, I'm going to test stamp it because after a while it gets a little hard to tell where you carved. From stamping it, I can see that I missed a few spots. So now I am going to carve those away. And it's nice now because the design is inked in black. So it's super easy to see what you're carving. Next, I just snipped the excess outside trim with scissors. This stuff is so easy to cut and we are done. Like how easy was that? Next, you'll want to attach it to a wooden block or something so it's easier to stamp. Um, but I didn't have that, so I'm just gonna skip that part. Um, but like, look at him sit on the mailbox. Like, he is so cute. Um, and then while I was stamping, my boyfriend was also making his own. So he carved this Totoro stamp and he is not artistic at all like he is a comp sci man through and through and even he can make a stamp so guys i swear this is like the easiest thing to do ever if you're just looking to do something fun hello guys i hope you enjoyed that little tutorial for making stamps um this is how they turned out i think they are so cute i still have to get like a wooden block for this one i will say though it was pretty difficult to carve out something of this size you have to be really careful and one little slip up you could really mess up the whole stamp um so yeah this is definitely a fun thing to do i think if i have any stamps with like words or something i might get those designs like outsourced by a stamp company like I have before um, but this is just a fun activity to do and it's actually very relaxing sitting here carving them um, but I finally have a couple orders I can stamp so I'm really excited to use them for the first time let's pack these orders up and then we can see how the stamps turn out which I think you already saw but we can see them in real life on a real package let's do that Just finished bagging the orders. How cute are they? Covering the address with this sticker, obviously, which could be one of my new stickers. But oh my god, mail! 
and the flower. I love how the flower turned out. And then this is what they look like with the larger envelopes. How fun is that? What? I would want to get this in the mail. I do say so myself.